this is Ranger Rob and welcome to the channel. Thank you so much. We really like having you here. Today, uh, a lot of things going on. Uh, I thought I'd come into the uh, sun room or what we call the green room and check on what we've done so far with the hydroponics. Uh, it's hard to see, but we have uh, lettuce in this one, radishes in this one. The lettuce is showing up. We're not sure about the radishes yet. And I was playing around with some older uh, broccoli I had in here and both Sherry and I go you know they really weren't a good we didn't start those right and, and they were just sitting here and they sat here all winter and they're still alive and I thought I'd try to rejuvenate them but we just like it could be a lot of work and turn out to be unproductive so I started over with two brand new uh, starters here uh, totally uh, hydroponic we're using coconut core and uh, volcanic rock and uh, uh, once they start like these pretty soon we'll start getting nutrients and we're gonna I might try just to keep the, the lettuce right in this barrel these will probably get so big though I'll have to transplant them later uh, outside but it's still pretty early in the year before I want to put the broccoli out but they're supposed to be tough so they're uh, they're all set uh, I know I don't need really need my growing lights on the starters but I turned them on for the lettuce for sure so we're kind of excited to get lettuce it should be a uh, we just did a butter crunch and uh, we don't normally grow iceberg lettuce you can get it so cheap at the store but I love butter crunch mixed in with our salad so anyway we're kind of excited to get some butter crunch going and so that's what's going on with the hydroponics we're a long ways from some of the things we are going to do uh, let me bring you in here real quick. Uh, one of the things that we're working with is stackable planters like this off the ground and self-maintained through hy uh, hydroponics. And I had to order some. I uh, wanted to order a set early so I could take measurements and kind of see what I was going to be working with. And so, uh, yeah. Anyway, I need to go out and do our chores and uh, take care of the chickens and then uh, we'll talk some more. Oh, also, also before I forget, uh, the dehydrator, uh, dehydrator is running, the um, freeze dryer I should say, is running with, uh, gosh, what we got, bananas and some strawberries in there. And they should be done uh, by the time Sherry gets home from work. So the end of this video, we'll do a review on the bananas, the bananas that were soaked in lemon and uh, talk about our next thing we're going to tackle, which is onions. And so uh, we're really excited to get a lot of onions dried, so uh, they're just easy to cook with that way. And so uh, that'll be our next one right after this. So we'll probably load those either tonight or tomorrow morning. So we'll share that with you. So meantime, it's time to do chores. And before I head out to uh, the chickens, I want to show you, I did one little addition to our uh, premier pump that I, I've heard it was a good idea is I added a, a fan to it and uh, just a little guy right here and uh, it's just to help keep things a little cooler and uh, wow actually my bananas are done so maybe I'll be able to do that for you earlier so I can get this video out earlier so the, so the process is complete I need to drain the valve which I'll do when I get back and uh, very cool. So uh, that actually only took 24 hours where yesterday's uh, was uh, 30. So let's go check on the chicken. All right, I'll go through this kind of quickly. Looks like we got three eggs, one egg. Wow, one, six, seven, eight, nine, six, seven, eight, nine eggs there. So. All right, there's some funny math going on here. If I got 11 eggs again, let me... <laughs> 11 eggs, right? 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 eggs. And I've only got 10 chickens. I must have a magical chicken in there somewhere. So, uh, cool. Anyway, let's get their eggs. Girls! Alright, well there's our wonderful bundle of eggs there. 
So that's two days in a row. I think I got 11 eggs. So it is later in the day. It's like 1.30 here. Something like that. So, And then I might have put... And I came out here kind of early last time. So uh, that must be what's going on is... I just left a lot of time between the times I checked the eggs. So 11 eggs, two days in a row with 10 chickens is, uh, wow, happy chickens. <laughs> so, well, it looks like we're going to be doing the uh, freeze dryer. So uh, let's let's go do that. Okay, so just so you can see some of this process. First thing it says in here is it tells you to uh, drain the valve uh, or vent right here, which is back here. So that's what we're going to do. Okay, after that it says open, uh, <coughs> if needed, select more time to dry. So at this point I'm going to open it up and just check and see if they look okay. So I opened it up, checked on everything. Everything looked really good. Uh, can't wait to taste them. Uh, everything's frozen in here. So the next thing I go is I don't, uh, uh, do I want to defrost or do I want more dry time? So what I'm going to do is pull these out. I'm going to hit defrost and let this thing defrost. So if I do uh, doing taste testing here, one of the things I want to point out is one of these trays was done with lemon, uh, soaked in lemon. The other two were not. Color wise, they all look the same. So I don't think that made any impact of whether these would be lighter or darker. It's only when you uh, rehydrate them that I notice they turn brown really quick. So I'd be curious when you rehydrate, do they turn brown, the ones with lemon or the ones without lemon? So anyway, i got to start putting these away. Uh, the strawberries, I'm just going to add to my current current strawberries and because uh, we're going to eat them right away. These here I'm going to pack uh, into a new ball jar and I've got to get one cleaned up and sanitized. So anyway, there you go guys. Um, these things uh, feel like styrofoam. It tastes great. That wasn't one with the lemon. Um, it was super yummy. Guys, what a great treat. Instead of oil cookies and milk at night, <laughs> banana chips and strawberries, I'm telling you. I can't wait to try this on cereal. So there you go. Bananas strawberries next up is uh we bought a lot i bought some um onions i bought some white onions and then some yellow uh, sweet onions and i'd like to see what those taste like dehydrated and see what troubles i might have about getting the smell um getting the smell out of the machine after doing something like onions my understanding you could do a bread run again or uh hand wash it out with a uh, uh, water and vinegar so one of those choices that may be what we'll do so there you go guys so awesome this was our second run everything's going smooth very happy with the machine well that went really smooth i just cleaned up all the uh plates in the teflon teflon cleans up really well super easy so i got one uh half gallon full so i just took one of these put a um, oxygen absorber in it and uh that one we can store I had even more. This will be for Sherry's lunches and my snacks. Uh, I filled up my strawberry jar again. We're uh, not sealing these for long periods of time because we're going to eat these too and put them in cereal. And uh, the next one we're going to tackle is onions. So uh, I want to thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you enjoy all the things going on around here. Uh, we're still in the early stages before the greenhouse is done. And uh, uh, once we get all these little systems in place, we should be uh, running a little smoother. The other problem we have is, you know, is the clutter. And it's not the clutter that it's our stuff. It's stuff we have to get rid of in the garage sales and stuff because of how we got this house. So uh, it's such a battle to try to do anything because we're working around not uh, stuff that needs to be moved and we're waiting for better weather 
before we have a state sale. So yeah, it's kind of frustrating. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. Please uh, take the time to like and subscribe. That really helps us out. Uh, don't forget to grab yourself a keep on a rednecking hat from uh, Amazon or uh, snag some of our Ranger Rob poopy bags. All those things help our channel. We really appreciate it. So guys, talk to you later. Be safe. Bye now. Our videos are made possible by Ranger Rob poopy bags. Available at Amazon right now. Thank you very much for watching our video. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Thanks.